guys, it's Ariel here from Fix My Books to help you fix your book. Okay, so now we are going to run our payroll. So this is the pay period. Make sure this is correct. So um, the pay period is July 31st to August 15th and the pay date is August 15th, 2020. So it's regular pay hours. Let's say he worked 40 hours for those two weeks and then we'll click preview payroll. Make sure that all of these are correct and the payment method is by paper check and then we'll click submit payroll. And the check number that we used to pay Andy with is 0001. And then click finish payroll. And that's it. You ran your first payroll. Now we're going to run our second payroll for the end of August since he, Andy is paid semi monthly, so twice a month. So we're going to click run payroll again. And this time it is for August 16th to August 30th and our pay date is August 30th. Again, let's say this, these last two weeks, Andy worked 40 hours. Uh, let's say 45 instead of the 40 hours, so 45 hours. And then we'll click preview payroll payment method, paper check, make sure that these are all correct, click submit payroll, and then this is check number 0002, click finish payroll, and you finish payroll for Andy for the month, and that's it. So what you can go to is go to pay checklist, and then click this month, which is August, so you can see the, the two payrolls that we ran, one for the 15th and then one for the 30th. The reason why it's obviously different is because it's based on the number of hours. And that's it. You're, you were able to successfully run a payroll for your employees for a whole month. Okay, so we are now done setting up our payroll, adding an employee, running our payroll. And so the only thing we need to do now is to remit our payroll source deductions to the CRA. And I'll show you how to do that. It's very, very easy. So now we have to remit our payroll source deductions to the CRA. So all you have to go do is go to taxes, payroll tax, right? Monthly forms, PD7A, Make sure that it's for the correct tax period. So August is what we did our payroll for. So August 1st to August 31st, click view. All right, so this is the PD7A worksheet. Make sure to save a copy of this. Okay, so now that we have our PD7A, all we need to do to remit our payroll taxes to the CRA is to go to paysimply.ca slash CRA, click business taxes, click payroll source deductions, click current year, add your email address, your business number, and your business name. And then for the end of the period, you click the last day of the month. So for this, it will be August 31st. And then the gross payroll, it's already here. 1414. So just add that there. Number of employees, 1. You can see that here. It says 1 on the number of employees. And then payment amount is 195.69. And then just click continue. Obviously, if these details are there, you'll be able to just click continue and pay using your credit card or bank account. And that's it. That's just how you remit payroll taxes to the CRA. Thank you guys so much for watching.
Hey guys, I hope you liked the video and please don't forget to subscribe so you can tune in to the next videos in our tutorial series here on YouTube. And once again, this is Ariel from Fix My Books and I'm here to help you fix your books.